The government of Canada says that the changes to the capital gains inclusion rate is only going to affect the wealthy. That's just not the case. Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out why. Changes to the capital gains inclusion rate is set to happen for June 25th. The government of Canada will be voting on it, but it's likely to happen. And we just want to know, how is that going to impact Canadians, yeah. not necessarily just the wealthy? No, it, it makes a really good point, Carlo, because we've now started to see it a lot firsthand. I mean, just, just speaking with our clients, and it has impacted a lot of people, and a lot of people probably that we didn't really think would be uh, feeling the pinch or feeling a bit of an impact. Um, and I figured today we can probably walk through a couple different scenarios, at least to kind of get, a, get an understanding, get a perspective. And I really think it started to hit home for us in terms of people with corporations or people that really use their corporation as a way to draw income mm -hmm. and as a way to uh, provide a degree of income for themselves. Now, for corporations, there is no uh, stop, right? For, for personal, uh, you're allowed to have up to $250,000 in capital gains and, and still have things be the way they used to be. Uh, for corporations, it's a little bit different. Every dollar. Dollar one. Exactly. Dollar one. Yeah, you're instantly getting that, that extra tax. Yeah, no, those are great points. We think about all of the benefits that were implemented to help professionals. Medical doctors, dentists were to were given the option of incorporating yep. and allowing revenue to be uh, flow through the corporation and have tax benefits that way. But if professionals are going to be taxed a little bit higher on that wealth that they're trying to accumulate for retirement, that is going to make people really think about yep. making some major changes. It's been talked about all the time, the brain drain happening outside of Canada for these professionals. I don't think that these changes to the tax regime are going to help keep people in in the country. Yeah, definitely not helping. And and the other part of this too is a lot of these corporations are employing other Canadians. You're starting to see the companies here that are employing 10, 15, 20 Canadians, smaller businesses, but that's impacting now 20 people as opposed to just the one. Um, and, and the best example uh, we've had recently, uh, wasn't quite a client, but a client's uh, child, they are making the decision to move their business out of Canada now. Um, and ma many people think, you know, why make such a knee-jerk reaction? Well, if the, the decision ends up being a, a five to $10 million decision based on taxes, you can't argue with that rationale to have somebody make that, uh, make that large of a move, but that impacts them, uh, the business owner, but also impacts the 20, 30 people that he or she employs. 100%. Uh, just in the meeting that I had the uh, last week, mm -hmm. uh, I was speaking with uh, a couple of clients. They were parents and they had their younger uh, son involved in the meeting. And he, uh, you know, fortunate for them and for him, he just graduated from medical school and he was going to be starting his residency. Uh, and we started talking about the changes to the capital gains inclusion rate. And it was already on his mind and his colleagues about mm -hmm. how is this going to impact their livelihood long term? And that's causing them to think and not necessarily make moves, but these changes are having an impact uh, on what these professionals are deciding long term. Yeah. And, and, you know, I see it from the government's perspective of where they're coming from in terms of trying to collect tax from those who are wealthy and those who are um, maybe able to handle it a little bit better than other areas of the general population. But what they need to take into concern is sometimes those corporations are the ones that are employing a, a lot of other parts of, of, of business within Canada. Um, and small business within Canada from as far back as, you know, even more recently, I guess, COVID uh, has been just been taking a beating more or less from the government. And this this is another one of those things that isn't quite helping the situation. Right, and we're focusing on business owners and corporations. What about the people? And uh, given where we are and how close we are to cottage country, what about all those people <laughs> yeah. that own cottages? Uh, I think the stat was 0.13% of Canadians are ultra wealthy and the other point or 99.87% uh, are not, <laughs> or sorry, like that. <laughs> that's that mental math. Yeah. Um, they may not consider them themselves wealthy, but may own a cottage because it's been willed down to generation to yeah. generation. Uh, that's going to impact them. And most cottages, if you think about where they're located, uh, prices continue to go up. And that $250,000 threshold that people would get will get eaten up really quickly on the sale of a property that's in excess of a million and they probably purchased for, you know, a number of years ago, $25,000, $50,000. That's well above that $250,000. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and Nobody ever wants to have to go through this 
tax increase type of situation. Uh, ask anybody. Nobody wants to pay more in taxes. Everyone thinks they pay their fair share. Um, but from the government's perspective, they put themselves behind the eight ball where they're going to need to start collecting from somewhere. So understand their rationale in doing it. Um, it just might be potentially messier than they originally thought uh, in terms of being able to collect these taxes or what the repercussions may be uh, from some people forced into making a decision before our June 25th deadline. No, absolutely. We understand what the government's attempting to do. They've got programs. They're trying to make things fair. Yeah. Um, but with that, the changes that they're making may be necessary, but it's the reasoning that they're giving yeah. that may be a little bit self-serving yes. in, in our opinion. But the, the tax increases have to happen. Somebody has to help pay for those programs and they've decided that this is the way it's going to go and people just have to essentially live with it. Absolutely, absolutely. So for those of you who watched the video, let us know down in the comment section below, have you been impacted by these capital gain changes uh, or uh, changes that are going to happen within Canada? Um, as always, if you did enjoy our content, like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, but until next time, I'm John Yoconetti. I'm Carlo Cancino. And this has been Ask TMFG. TMFG.